Hey guys, Tim from HelioRC here. Uh, going over the new updating procedure, I'm gonna show you the old procedure first uh, and then go over uh, how it worked and how it will work uh, moving forward with the new tool. So first, uh, what we did is we shipped an aggregate binary which consisted of the butterfly or beta flight applications as well as a binary tacked onto it for, uh, for, I'm, for IMUF. When that was flashed over DFU, it would be placed in the flash, which is one of the reasons the uh, app was so large in the beginning. Uh, and it's just because it's a bunch of fake data uh, to separate the information between the butterfly application and our app. So that way there's a, there's a clear distinction between the two. When you type IMUF update in the CLI, the driver would find the application living in the flash, has data, and send it over SPI to our bootloader and update the application on the F3. This app never ran on the F4. Uh, it would just sit there as regular data and that was just meant to update the F3 unit on, on the flight controller. What we did is we created an, uh, an updater app which once, once you use the new target once you flash the next version of the software onto the F4, it contains our new driver and you'll be able to use the IMF Updater app. The IMF Updater app connects over USB as well as over the internet to our servers to pull down the latest versions of the app for the IMF unit. And the driver sends the data again to the bootloader when you do the update. So there's no more IMF update command in the CLI. It is all handled through this little tiny app, which you can download, and I'll put the link in the description. You can download from GitHub here. Uh, we have one for Mac and we have one for Windows. So we're gonna add a Windows 32 as well as the Linux version uh, here shortly. We're just going through testing and making sure that things work uh, correctly. So you go ahead and download the file for your system and go ahead and extract that and then Connect up your flight controller, double click it. It might show you this, uh, and then if it does show you a security warning, just open up your security and privacy settings, hit open anyway, go ahead and open the application, and then it will connect to your flight controller and it'll give you the option of which binary you want to flash. I want to flash the latest Odin, so I will hit two and then enter. It will connect to the flight controller and send it. Once it finishes sending, it will flash the F3. Once that is done, it will prompt you saying the flash was successful and you may close this window. Then you can go straight into Butterfly, connect, and there you are. And that is the update procedure. And you only ever have to do this when there's a new version of our filtering software. Uh, you don't have to do this every single time you update the Helio target uh, for Butterfly or Betafly or iNav, whatever it is you use. Um, you, you only ever have to update it when we create an update. And when we create an update, we'll announce it, we'll put it on, the, on the, our servers, and then it'll automatically show up in the same tool when you run it. Thanks for watching.